This is a lot of fun. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, hi. Hello. Um, just staring at Natsuki here. You know, it's really, really late at night. I thought that would be a good time to just stare at Natsuki. You know, so how's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgic Train. Anyway, again, Pink Fox isn't here. She's at work. Uh, a lot had, a lot was going down at once. Stuff happening. Anyway, everyone stop staring at me. I'm probably just gonna read this in my normal voice right now. It's too late for me to be able to fully emphasize. Ah, who am I kidding? It's getting really late. Let's put it that way. Unsurprisingly, Natsuki has a harder time with it than she boasted. Sayori and Monica look away. <laughs> okay. Anyway, the thing about your boobs. I didn't mean it, okay? Um... That's all. Natsuki looks away, avoiding eye contact with anyone. Yeah, you're naturally beautiful. Yuri? Uh... What? Sayori? Um... I'll go make some tea. Eh? I was just trying to help. I don't think that's what happened, Sayori. I'm sure she appreciated it. Oh, yeah. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. Good job, dumbass. <laughs> I apologize for the unbalancement in this particular episode from my voice, but I am trying to keep my volume down. So, if it sounds unbalanced compared to normal, I do apologize. Well, now that we're past that, everyone's read each other's poems, right? Uh, maybe? I hope that it was worthwhile for everyone. Especially you, Pink Fox. Oh, not this position again. And to be honest, it's a nice change of pace from the lazing around we got a little too used to. Ah. Uh... <laughs> so my joining the club was responsible for ruining the atmosphere. Great. No, not at all. Not at all. Um. There's still time before we go home. So we'll all relax for a bit. Of course, besides chatting, we do literature related things in the club room. Um. Um. So maybe you can take the chance to pick up a book. Or do some writing. After all, that's what the club is for. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I disagree, Monica. Eh? About what? That's not the most important thing about the literature club. The most important thing is eating cookies, right? You're gonna say something like that? I don't know with you, Mon- uh, blah, blah. It's having fun. Oh, you know what? Fair enough, Sayori. <laughs> of course. Well, I guess that's what the you I guess that's why you're the vice president, Sayori. <laughs> in the end, though, Monica's right. Being in the literature club probably means I can't spend all my time doing nothing. 
I really hope not. But in the end, I guess it's been worth it so far. Sure. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. I, I'm not, I'm not gonna vocal today. I'm not in the mood to vocal. Pink Fox, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. Okay, cool. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something from your friends too. Uh, what to the who what now? So your poem will turn out even better. Ah, who am I kidding? I'm basically doing my normal conversing. I think to myself, I did learn a little bit more of the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself a newfound determination. Pink Fox? Right. I get to walk home with you. Ready to walk home? Eh. Uh, no? As I said, if it does seem a bit louder than normal, I apologize. But I am trying to keep my voice down, and it's hard to balance it out when I do that. Sure. Let's go. <laughs> oh, boy. Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it, either. So you are enjoying it? Sayori. About what happened earlier. Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no! That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. That's... not... Good. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't, you don't hate them, do what? <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Yeah, because I have an argument between those two, I'm gonna hate them. Come on, Sayori. No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion. That's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Yeah. You know, Pink Fox, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. Then why do you look like you're upset? I think everyone really likes it too. That's... <laughs> you're hiding something. Every day is going to be so much fun. <sighs> It looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Um, I don't think she will. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? Oh boy. We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. Pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Do I have to? Um. Giggle. But no. Kawaii. Uh, J. 
jump. Pink. Uh, sugar. Um, Papa. Nibble. <laughs> what is even this poem I'm writing? Party. Oh, I guess not. Okay. Cute. Silly. No. Oh my god. You're not making this easy. Wait a minute. That was not an option before. You know what? I'm gonna take the time to figure out which words match who because I don't wanna mess this up. Okay, so I have a list in front of me, just so I know, and, uh, Ribbon. Um. Valentine. We got this. We got this. words for this little lady. Um. What? No. I'm looking through them and I can't find... Are any of these words for her? Sticky, maybe? There we go, sticky, yeah. Jeez! That was like the only word there that was her. <sighs> Rose? Nope. Um, Fluffy. If Fluffy wasn't her, I'd be shocked. Kiss? Maybe? Another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple of days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Pink Fox. As I said, vocals are not doing everything today. Yo, Sayori! And then I do that. Looks like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> I'm just still not used to you being in the club. That's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Oh, of course you are. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. Huh? Eh? That's not you. That's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Eh? Uh, why that? All of a sudden. 
no reason really. I just wanted to look at it. You know, have a peek at it. <clears throat> Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She falls with the lash and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets its contents spill on the desk. Only two small coins fall out. Ugh. <laughs> I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair. I highly doubt that was the reason anyway. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and wanted an excuse to take a walk. That one most likely. Actually. Or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would t lend you some. Actually, let's be honest, it probably is that second one. Or the, yeah. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so, that only leaves the one option. I give up. I'm not doing the voice. Nah, -uh. I do that voice and it'll wake up my roommates. That's actually the main reason why I'm not doing this at normal. It's because I'm actually doing this pretty late. This is being recorded pretty late at night. Don't make me feel guilty. Well, don't sound like a baby. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> Yuri suddenly giggled. Are you enjoying this, Yuri? Eh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book, as always. I wasn't saying or anything. It's okay, Yuri. It was just something in my book. Yuri! Um, I actually don't mind. <laughs> Tell Pink Fox to let me borrow some money! Come on. Sayori, you're... That's... Don't get to be involved like that, Sayori. I mean... <clears throat> I totally don't want to do the voices right now. I don't, it's just coming. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. Okay, Yuri, I like you. And frankly, after pulling mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. You know, you're actually sounding a lot like my... You're sounding a lot like Pink Fox right now. Makes up for Pink, Pink Fox not being here. I get Pink Fox right there. Kind of. Pink Fox is kind of a mix of all of them. In a sense. Well, all the good aspects of all of them. Huh. Did I just... I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed in my book. Ugh. <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. Oh boy. Now that I've said that, I'm doing the voices. God damn it. <laughs> it doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's. Um. Um. Still trying to be quiet here, though. Yeah, I'm not gonna. No. Voices not allowed. There's no way you could think of that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. Retribution? That. Oh no, that look. Are you okay, Sayori? St 
still, coming from you, Sayori, I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But... <clears throat> Again, voices not allowed. You wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. <laughs> Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. That was Natsuki, wasn't it? <laughs> Ow! What was... Eh? A cookie? Oh boy. Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Uh oh. Yeah, that was Natsuki. Sayori glances around. Is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> sure, Sayori. Retribution. Actually, that one... Wait a minute. That one almost worked? What does restitution mean? I'm very curious about this now. I'm gonna look this up. Restitution Definition The restoration of something lost or stolen to its proper owner. Oh my god. That actually does work. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> That is funny, actually. <laughs> I was just gonna give it to you, but then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. Yeah, you kind of deserved that, Sayori. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. <laughs> yeah, it was. This is a good day in the literature club. The Natsuki! Yep. And you kinda deserved it, Sayori. You kinda did. That's so nice of you. Wow. Just, just, wow. I'm so happy. Sayori hugs the cookie. <laughs> of course she does. Jeez, just eat it. She rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good! Mm. Sayori suddenly clasps her hands over her mouth. It bit my <laughs> Good job, Sayori. An even better day at the Literature Club. You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Is anybody surprised? Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Huh. This looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah. Why do you think I gave you that one? You know what? I'd be okay with it. Can I have hers? Can I have hers? I don't like chocolate. I mean, I do, but I'm not. If I were choosing cookies, I'd rather pick one that's not chocolate. Unless it's chocolate chip, then I'll do it. Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. See, it's a good day at the literature club when I'm not voice acting. <laughs> Even though I really actually do like doing it. 
<laughs> Sayori gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around. I've shown you guys this before. Um, Natsuki? I, 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 Sayori, I don't think Natsuki wants that. Yeah, okay, yeah, Natsuki does not want that. This was a good day at the Literature Club. Then Sayori did. Yeah, first of all, I'm gonna make that vanish. Then, ugh, now I gotta reset everything. Good grief. I'm an idiot. Then Sayori did this. I cut myself out wrong. Oops. I can't bring myself back properly. I messed up. Hold on. There we go. Yeah. Sayori. That's a big no-no. I think. But looks like Yuri's enjoying this. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Ah, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie's still in hand. Natsuki reaches up to not nudge Sayori off her. Oh. Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a bite out of Natsuki's. Greedy much? Hey! Did you seriously just do that? <laughs> oh boy. Mouthful. Sayori trots away to safety. Um. Why? Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori? Eh? Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Weird. Ugh. Where is Monica anyway? Good question. Where is Monica? Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Okay. No one knows, apparently. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular, after all. Eh? You don't think she... She has a... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. <laughs> That's true. Excuse me. Suddenly, the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. Didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Huh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. But boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Um... Monica quizzically glances at me. Uh, never mind that. We'll hold you up anyway. Ah. Well, my last period today was study hall. Oh, I see. Study hall is a butt sometimes. Not even gonna lie, study hall can be an ass. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Never mind. <laughs> I actually do believe that, though. I am really trying to make sure that this doesn't like l get too loud or too soft. Just 
Right. Hey. Good day in the... Where are we again? The Literature Club? That's right, yeah. <sighs> anyway. To be honest, I kind of lost track of time. <laughs> uh-huh, okay, yeah, alright. That makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Oh. Piano? Was it a word? Play music it as well? Monica? I don't really. I kind of just started recently. Ah. I've always wanted to learn piano. It's actually a lot of fun. That's so cool. You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little better, I will. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yay! By the way, I look over because I'm trying to make sure I'm not being too loud or too soft. That sounds cool. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down. Monica smiles sweetly. And then we're in that position again. It was a good day in the literature club. Was. I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. And I've really loved it, the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So, I didn't miss anything, did I? Huh? Not really. I choose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. Looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri's back to her book, and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. And we're at this part now. It's not long before Natsuki comes up to me expectantly. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I kept my promise. I pull the first volume of Parfait Girls out from my bag. Natsuki takes it from my hands, and quickly turns it over, presumably to check for wrinkles. Hey, I'm not that careless. I handle manga all the time, you know. Just wanted to make sure. Okay, I, I kind of get that mindset. I kind of understand that. Can you blame me for being paranoid? Mm -mm. I have met many paranoid people, and they're all great people, actually. Well, most of them are. I don't give people my manga every day, you know. True. Fair. That's fair. I don't blame you. Well, anyway, let me put this one back. I'm gonna get the next one, okay? Karu? Natsuki makes her way to the closet. I follow. So, you're gonna tell me everything you thought, right? Where did this volume leave off again? I forget. Ah, chapter ended when Minori and Alice found Monica! Oh no. Minori and Alice found Monica. No, Monica. Oh boy. She rearranged it again, didn't she? Natsuki's voice resonates out from inside the closet. Huh? Appear inside. All of Natsuki's books are lined up on the top shelf. Did you move my manga again? <laughs> sorry, sorry. I mean, being organized isn't bad. The teacher got mad at me for taking up so much space in her closet. So I had to move some stuff around and clean up a little bit. It's all still there. I just had to organize it a bit. Ugh. The top shelf is far above Natsuki's head. 
She makes a futile hop, trying to figure out how to reach her manga. Jeez, this is so inconvenient. Sorry, Natsuki. I'm moving these all back down. There's plenty of room on these shelves. And besides, they're really pretty to look at when they're all lined up. Why would you waste that on the top shelf? Uh, Natsuki? There's a stool on the wall there. In the closet, there's a collapsible stool that's hanging on the wall. If you want, I can reach out there and hand them to you. I can get them myself. Natsuki grabs the stool from the wall and unfolds it. You think I'm sh too short or something? I mean, I knew it! Uh-oh. Well, you know what? Hey, short is awesome. My fiancé is 5'2", and I love it. I'm short for a dude, and I don't mind it. Just watch me. Natsuki hops on the stool, which ends up being a little wobbly because of its collapsible design. Uh, careful. I know what I'm doing. Standing on the stool, Natsuki's fingertips reach the top shelf. The stool would be enough for me to easily grab the books. But Natsuki is being stubborn as usual. Ugh. Natsuki uses her fingers to scoot one of the smaller boxes to the edge of the shelf. See? The box suddenly tips. Natsuki barely catches it before it falls to the floor. The stool wobbles. Oh, oh boy. Losing balance, Natsuki hops off the stool. Thankfully, she was able to stay on her feet. She's like a cat. She holds the box triumphantly. Th there! Having almost fell, Natsuki is a bit shaken up. Jeez! No need to prove yourself to me. There's no way you'll be able to get the bigger boxes like that. I can reach them, so just... I said I can do it. I want your help, okay? <sighs> I'm gonna get a chair, so just hang on. Natsuki forces her way past me out of the closet. Let's see. The classroom chairs have the desk attached, so they're too inconvenient to fit into the closet. Aha! Natsuki trots over to the teacher's desk, which has a computer chair behind it. She rolls it on its wheels. Back over to the closet. Ah! It's a little dangerous since the chair swivels and rolls. But I've already learned my lesson, so I keep my mouth shut. Hush! Natsuki climbs onto the chair and slowly bounces onto her feet. Since she refuses my help, I take a seat with my back against the side of the doorway and simply watch. There we go. She looks kind of psycho, but at the same time not. I'm not sure how to feel about this. See? I can easily do it now. Natsuki grabs a stack of manga and bends down to put it on the shelf below. This is going to go where I think it's going to go. Wah! The chair swivels. Natsuki catches herself on the shelf. What are you doing? Can you at least hold the chair steady instead of sitting and doing nothing? Who was it to told, who told me not to help again? Yeah, yeah, I got you. I hold the chair while Natsuki reaches back up. I can... I can almost see up her skirt. The, look away! I force myself to turn away. Natsuki seriously didn't think this through. Once she realizes, I'll be dead. Huh! Natsuki wraps her arm around the perfect girl's box set, easily the largest one on the shelf. But heavy! Hey, Pink Fox, I, 
I don't think I can bend down without falling. How do you take this on? Eh? Then I have to let go of the chair. That's fine. Just for a second. Hurry up. Alright. Let me just stand up. I slowly release my grip from the chair. What do you mean, stand up? Natsuki looks down at me. Why are you all the way back? Uh oh. Natsuki looks like she's just realized something, but she'll lose her balance if she moves. Natsuki the box. What are you looking at? Uh oh. Um, I'm gonna let Natsuki get mad at me next time. I'm gonna leave this video here before I get yelled at. Or should I say Pink Fox acting out Natsuki? Hopefully next time. I really would prefer Pink Fox to be here for this. Plus, I feel like she'll enjoy yelling at me with this. She needs, she needs, she needs to exert a lot of energy right now. After everything that's going on, if you guys watched my previous video, you'll know what I'm talking about. It has to do with this. Anyway, I am going to leave this video here, one way or the other. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. If you liked it, push that like button and so far you can't say it anymore. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have a suggestion for a visual novel that you'd like to see me do on here, or a horror game of sorts, because technically this is psychological horror. Anybody who knows this game knows this by now. Let me know in the comments below. Want to check out a different visual novel that I've done prior to this? Click the link down there. Or, if you want to check out the rest of this one, link across my head here, I'm trying to take you to one or the other. In the meantime though, this trains up to its next destination. Uh, let me know how the balance went for the sound on this. Um, at least your guess's opinion. Again, trains off to its next destination, but we hope to catch all of you in another ride. Bye!